Today, we're talking about being responsible for your peace, which I think every single person on the planet could probably benefit um, spending some time investing in and talking about. So um, it is myself, G Money 520 again, um, kind of just hanging out, want to have a discussion with you guys. Uh, just want to encourage anybody, if you guys feel like this video helps you at all, uh, we would love it if you'd be willing to share it with your friends or family, or if you guys want to start in some discussions with us in the comment section, uh, be super, super looking forward to chatting with you guys. But uh, this was kind of G Money's uh, topic that he wanted to bring to the table today. So I'm going to let him kind of give us a little bit of an intro to this and uh, kind of kind of tell us what's going on with this. So Yeah, so responsible for your own peace. What does that mean? I thought of this topic the other day, um, you know, situation with my fiance and started thinking about the different states that we all live in. For instance, when we're depressed, when we're sad, when we're anxious, when we're overthinking uh -huh. constantly, we could be living in this attitude perspective or state for hours out of the day and it can go yes. on for weeks, months, uh, years even in some cases. And so I thought about if you're spending hours of your day being depressed, overthinking, etc., cetera, mm -hmm. how much time can you honestly look in the mirror and say to yourself, you know, I've spent 30 minutes actively trying to get out of that to, state to get out of the state can you look at yourself and honestly say that because if not i think there needs to be a drastic reorganization of priorities and the reason being is and this is a classic kind of meme you know if yeah. you're if you're depressed people always say well why don't you just stop being sad just be happy it's right? not that easy it, it doesn't work that way <laughs> it's work and Sometimes you have to put in the work to to make the change. To, yeah, to make the change, make yourself better. Sit down with yourself, write down a strategy, commit to that strategy. Yeah. And discipline. Go, yeah, be disciplined about going through the the motions every day of actively trying to um just improve yourself. Uh -huh. And what I think is great about this is this process is different, unique, and adaptable to every single person in the world. I have no doubt. It's true. What works for me does not work for Flex, will not work for the viewers. Yeah. Um, however, we're going to include some resources down in the description, just a few things that you know we can describe down there that have helped us and hopefully will help you. But I think, Flex, you have a unique um take on this because mm -hmm. the same things that um you that helps you in this area also helps you in many other areas which is key because yeah you already have a process that you don't have to incorporate all of these new items into your routine it's something that you already do and you yes. get the benefit out of it yeah i think um well one of the things that you talked about which i thought was really important is um uh, like it's really, really easy to slip into a bad state. For for me, I battle with depression pretty frequently. And sometimes like when you get a sour day or something happens like in the morning, it can kind of taint your day and you get in that funk, but you can't seem to like get out of it. And that, it just sucks. It's the worst feeling ever because you feel helpless, but you know that unless, you know, or you can wait it out, which normally is just a very time consuming thing. The you don't default. really... Yeah, it's a default. You don't default really, strategy. yeah, you don't really get anything out of it. You don't really learn anything. You're just being passive, um, or you can try to be proactive and do something, like anything, uh, hopefully something positive, um, to get yourself out of that state. And and that's what's really powerful because it's it's super easy to slip into that. It's super easy to take the easy route and be passive. Um, but I think once you get into a state where you're willing to be, like G Money said, if you're if you're willing to look at yourself in the mirror and you're having just a, a funk day, but you you're, you're like, okay, wait a second, I'm having a really bad day, but have I really done anything to be proactive about getting out of this? And um, if the answer is no, then I think incorporating something um, to have to combat like that bad type of day or whatever you're going through, it could be depression, anger, you could be feeling sad, whatever. But like as, 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 as long as you start building these routines or things that you can go to to help you get out of these funks, 
I just think life is significantly better. I've seen G Money go through this like time and time. He's one of the best people ever. He, he may not say it, but at just rebounding or finding a proactive way to work through something. So I think that like having the self awareness to recognize when you're in a really funk state is important because that's when you're going to hit the button. Like it's, you're going to hit the proactive button and you're going to start doing your things. He mentioned earlier, G Money did that we, everybody has their own individual things that work for themselves. Like what works for me may not work for you or what works for G Money may not work for you. But what's important is I think thinking about potential things that you could try. And, and sometimes that's what it is. Like I've, G Money have had a conversations and he and I have had conversations about trying certain things. And there've been things that he've sent me that I've tried and it just didn't really do much for me. And, and vice versa, I've done the same thing and I'm sure that's gone for him, but he's also sent me things that really worked super well for me. So for instance, um, I know over the course of our friendship, he's given me many opportunities to learn and, um, the things that I feel like fit with my, uh, like my body and my mind, I keep, and the ones that don't, I just move past them. So a great example of one of the things is I had been recently really struggling with feeling like I'm not relaxing in the mornings. And what did you send me G money that, that was helpful? Yeah, so I sent over a, I think it's a 12 minute breathing exercise video that I stumbled upon just trying to find something else to relax me. Yep. And it is the simplest concept. And I can't believe how much better I feel yeah. after 12 minutes yeah. of listening to this deep voiced you know, God. like breathing exercise. Yeah. <laughs> Tell deep, you to deep breathe voice. in yeah, and yeah. breathe out. Yeah. And, you know, we can describe it in the description as well, but for something so simple of a 12 minute exercise to help you just, yeah. Re, um, what would you call it? Re, just re, like readjust. Restart. Yeah. Yep. Readjust. Yep. Take that readjustment for your day. And, approach it from a sense of peace and readjust what your day will look like and take charge of what your day can look like is yeah. an extremely powerful thing that I think can help people all over the world. Yeah. And, and, and we bring this out because it's 12, it's a 12 minute breathing exercise. And for me, he sent it to me. It's, it extremely helped me focus on relaxing a little bit more. It wasn't like complete 180 on my day, but it was like a 10% my day is better by 10%. Yeah. Sometimes you got to take Easily. the tiny victories as G money says so eloquently in the past, yep. uh, tiny victories add up. And I think what's important is, is recognizing that there's a lot of people that have already figured this stuff out. Um, and we just have to kind of re, we have to reverse engineer ourselves to figure out what things we can consume that will help us. So it's important if you're in a funk and you're not feeling peaceful to have some level of hope, um, but to back that up by taking action. And it could be something as simple as a 12 minute breathing exercise video that might make a tiny difference in your day. And, and you know, like knowing what sorts of resources you can look to, to try to gain your peace again. And it's really important. Peace does not just come by nature all the time without any effort. It It is a, a constant thing. I think it's as I've gotten older, I've certainly realized that to be happy, to feel peaceful, to be confident, et cetera, it takes constant work every day. You don't just wake up feeling like a million dollars every day. Yeah. Things happen that are going to influence you. But as long as you're on top of it, you know, like uh, being responsible for your peace, taking responsibility for that and being proactive is it's just powerful, right? Yeah. So, we will, as stated, put some links into the description, maybe do a little, um, maybe a, just a little intro on each thing. I have a few links. I know Flex has a few links, but we'll put that in description. We hope it helps you and we will see you on the next video. See you guys.